Thanks very much, Bruce, and thank you very much, everybody, for that very warm welcome. Firstly, I'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, that we are meeting today on land, uh, traditional land of Aboriginal people, and I uh, extend my courtesies to any elders present and, uh, and uh, acknowledge uh, the ongoing cultural uh, existence of, uh, acknowledge the fact that the Australian, um, Australian culture has been tremendously enriched for having its association with the oldest continuous known human culture. Every Australian Counts is the campaign for the NDIS. A national disability insurance scheme represents the best chance we will ever have of achieving independence, choice and opportunity. The joy of an ordinary life for Australians living with disability. This is the opportunity we are poised to take up. Yesterday you heard from um, members of parliament, politicians and the Productivity Commission as to what we are seeking in NDIS. Today is about how we are going to achieve that great opportunity, that great chance that is in front of us now. And the first thing we have to understand is that what we're doing, what you're doing here today, not what I'm doing, not what Bruce and Rhonda are doing, not what the conference organisers are doing, not what Carers Australia are doing, or National Disability Services are doing, or, um, or Australia, AFTO is doing, but what you are doing and what thousands of people out there like you are doing is building a movement. I think the point's been made a few times, we need to find common ground, we need to maintain that common ground. When we come to this, this great objective, we can't think of ourselves as uh, innocent bystanders or service providers or uh, families or carers or workers, uh, we've got to be as one. We've got to maintain those characteristics that we think of as a movement. So we talk about movements, what does it mean? Well, we all know about movements, cultural movements, social movements, political movements. What do they have in common? They grow out of experience. They grow out of experience. Everybody in this room, tens of thousands, indeed hundreds of thousands of people like you, right across Australia, have an experience. They have an experience of disability. They have an experience of disability because they live with it themselves, they're a friend, a relative, a carer. They have an experience which has made them realise that there are problems that need to be solved. That people aren't getting the joy of an ordinary life. That people are being unfairly deprived of their right as Australians to that ordinary life. That's why every Australian counts. That's why that's such an important part of the way we describe what we're doing. It grows out of an objective. We have an objective. The objective is to achieve an NDIS. We've cast around, we've discussed, we've been through a lot. This movement didn't happen yesterday or last week. The movement, in a sense, the movement for a better deal for people with disability, has been going for at least, to the best of my knowledge, I'm a bit of a historian, but it's going for at least a, 100 or so years, a fair bit more than that. And it's had some reversals and it's had long periods of time where there's been ignorance and a lack of engagement, a lack of involvement. But it's important to understand that that movement is culminating in the direction of a scheme which will change everything for us if we put in the effort. In order to make sure the movement can clearly explain itself to the general public and reinforce itself to its own supporters, it needs to have a simple, single, unifying message. What we're doing is we're making sure every Australian counts. People have those rights, they have their entitlement to dignity, they have the right to a joy of an ordinary life, they have a right to independence. They have all those things that are best summarised, best summarised and best carried out by the shape of an NDIS. As I said yesterday, they explained the complicated reasons how it's all going to happen. And sure, we'll probably go on arguing about how it's going to happen for a bit longer. But we know what we need to do and we know why we want it. So there needs to be that single unifying message, every Australian counts. Every Australian counts is why we want an NDIS, because it's the only way that people, with a dis people living with disability will have the life that they're entitled to. One last thing about this particular movement, I said it's probably going, you know, 100 years or more, going back to the movement for deinstitutionalisation, right through a whole range of, a whole range of campaigns and struggles, and some of, the, some of them have been in very 
adverse circumstances for people with, dis with disability, but urgency. This is urgent. It's urgent because the problems have always been urgent. They've been urgent for 100 years for the people that are living with them. But it's urgent because we have this opportunity now. It's, it's, not, it's not happened by accident. There's a lot of people who put in a lot of effort, a lot of work from different organisations, from uh, different individuals. A lot of things have led to this moment. I can describe it as a moment. I don't necessarily mean literally this minute, but the moment in history that we're living with at the moment, that opportunity must be taken up. And so we have to attach a level of urgency to what we're doing. Obviously, the other thing movements have to have is unity. And of course, you know, one of the things I've said from you know, the beginning of my role in uh, you know, very much a Johnny, Johnny Come Lately's role in this, in this organisation is that one of the remarkable things to me in the relatively short period of time since I was Disability Services Minister in New South Wales is the change in disability. That when I was first Disability Services Minister only about five years ago, five or six years ago, it seems like 100 years ago, but five or six years ago, disability was, it's very, it was very hard to communicate with disability. It was very hard to understand what people wanted. It was quite difficult. You, you have people from some advocacy groups and other people from uh, a peak here or another group, um, service providers saying one thing and somebody saying something else. It was very hard to understand what it was you had to do to make the big changes to make things better because everybody had a different view about what had to happen and, and how it had to be done. Everybody had a different barrier to push. Well, now we've all got the same barrier to push and a great deal of effort has gone into building that unity, the alliance that exists between AFDO, NDS and carers is a critical part of achieving that. And unity and the maintenance of unity is absolutely critical for the rest of the task. Last but not least is focus. I could have said discipline, but everybody said to me, actually I worked it out for myself, that discipline wasn't the right word for a disability gathering. Uh, so, so I say it's focus. We could sit down now and we, and, and we will be going and having our breakouts and, and we'll be thinking, we can think of a thousand good ideas, a thousand people in this room, we can think of a thousand good ideas about the NDIS, but we only have five months. So we don't have five months to work out a thousand good ideas. We have to focus on the good ideas we know address our key objective. 